Hello, I am Dr. Somin Day. I am a urologist, urooncologist at Kokila Ban Dhirubhai Ambani Hospital in Nabi Mumbai. Today, we will speak a little about a PSA test. Uh, when it is required, where you do it, what are the implications of doing a serum PSA test. Now, PSA is a um, chemical secreted by prostate gland in men. It is a gland which is there only in men. It is a various uses in diagnosis of prostate related ailments. One of the important diseases which is which a PSA can be used to diagnose and treat is in prostate cancer. It has value in its diagnosis, in its treatment, in its follow up and to find out a protocol for treatment of prostate cancer. The first thing which comes is PSA for diagnosis of prostate cancer. Now in the background we should know that PSA is and uh, increased PSA levels in a blood test is increased not only in prostate cancer but also in prostatic infections and age related benign enlargement of this prostate gland. With this in mind we will uh, discuss about serum PSA test in the diagnosis of prostate cancer. Now first, first importantly you should know what are the normal values of PSA. Now PSA values changes with age. For a man up to uh, 40 years a 2.5 uh, value of PSA about 2.5 is normal, up to 50 around 3.5 is normal, up to 60 4.5 is normal, for a man up to 70 6.5. So 43.5, 50, uh, 42.5, 53.5, 64.5, 76.5, these are the normal values of prostate uh, of PSA test. Now what do I mean when I say normal? What I mean is that if PSA values are normal, the risk of developing prostate cancer is next to zero, is very less, is very less chance of having a prostate cancer or harboring a prostate cancer provided your rectal examination done is normal. Now who are the patients at risk of prostate cancer whom we use to advise PSA? Now I usually ask patients beyond 45 to do a PSA test, less than 45 I do not ask to do a PSA test unless there are history of first degree relative like father or uncle having prostate cancer. Now in this man if I say somebody is as I said somebody is 40 I if the PSA is 2.5 I say you have no risk of prostate cancer or almost no or very little less so risk of prostate cancer you can ignore. Now what if the PSA is more than this? If the PSA is more than this a clinical examination is most important. Now we do a rectal examination in the rectal if you put a finger in the rectum we can palpate a man's prostate. A normal feel of the prostate is not hard. If it is very firm or quite hard the risk of prostate cancer is very high. So if a rectal examination if I find that the, the prostate is hard irrespective of the PSA value, irrespective of the PSA value even if it is 1 then there is chance of harboring prostate cancer. I overlook the PSA and ask the patient to do a biopsy if it is hard. Now if it is not hard on the rectal examination then this PSA helps me to understand which man is at risk of prostate cancer and then which man will require more diagnostic test to find if he has prostate cancer. So usually when the PSA is more than 10 and rectal examination is normal I still ask for a biopsy because the chance of harboring prostate cancer for a man who is more than 10 PSA is almost 50 percent provided. Now he does not have any other symptoms of infections of the prostate as I said infection of the prostate can raise a PSA. So if the PSA is 10 or more without normal rectal examination no other features which I feel can be because of infection or blockage in the prostate then I ask the patient to get a biopsy which is a confirmatory test for prostate. Now for a PSA for example a uh, 60 year old comes with, me with a PSA of 4. Now if his PSA is between 4 and 10 as a uh, cabit the other things are normal like rectal examination is normal other things are normal. He asks me sir do I have a rixo prostate cancer then I say ki you can do an MRI. For this patient I repeat for this patient between PSA 4 and 10 we do a MRI to find what is his risk for developing a prostate cancer. In MRI of the prostate there are scores which you call pirate score. If the pirate score is 1 and 2 the chance of having a prostate cancer is next to 0. If the pirate score is 4 and 5 the past of chance of having prostate cancer is high and we ask this patient to go for a biopsy. 3 is equivocal means there is some chance, there may not be chance, there are so many other criteria which you should decide. To summarize rectal examination hard, biopsy, risk of prostate cancer is very high. 
when the PSA is more than 10, risk of prostate cancer is more than 50%. So we do a biopsy. For a PSA between the normal for age and 10, we use the MRI to decide whether a biopsy is required or not. So this is about PSA. PSA helps us to think whether a patient has prostate cancer and if I think he has a chance how to diagnose it. This is the most important use of PSA. Another use of PSA is after treatments, so after radiation or after a prostatectomy, the PSA should come down. So, if the PSA comes down, so I know the treatment has been proper. So, this is the two uses of PSA, diagnostic, treatment and follow up.